Nucleus is one of the important cell organelle of the eukaryotic cell and on the basis of which only the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cell are classified. Means if the nucleus is present then they are present only in the cell of the eukaryotes only. So in this lecture we will deal with the structure of the nucleus and the function of the nucleus. The nucleus is one of the largest cell organelle we can say and it performs the most important and the uh, various processes which are helpful in the cellular mechanism or cellular machinery of the eukaryotic cell. First of all, the nucleus acts as a repository center. Repository center of what? Means all the genetic material are present in the nucleus only. And therefore, it controls the cell or we can say it acts as a controlling center of the cell. Why? Because the replication, the transcription and the processing of the transcription, all these processes take place in the nucleus only. So, the nucleus can be considered as one of the important cell organelles which are responsible for the multiple but important activity of the cell basic function. The nucleus or we can say it could be the cell may contain a single nucleus for example the uninucleate. It may contain the multinucleate like in the muscle cell. The multinucleate cell are present. The uninucleate, most of the cell in the eukaryotic, such as in the humans, are the uninucleate only. Okay, but some cells are there which contain no nucleus. And what are these cells? These are the RBCs which contain the no nucleus. Okay, paramecium used to contain the two different nuclei. The first one is the macronucleus which are mainly responsible for the sexual reproduction. Okay, and macronuclei, uh, micronucleus are present which are basically responsible for the day-to-day uh, -day or daily function of the life such as uh, the waste removal, feeding, feeding of the food hogya and after that uh, the uptake of the water these all are function which are carried by the micronucleus the sizes of the nucleus may differ in which cell it is present and the shape can also be differ most of the shape are the spherical but sometimes the multi lobe nuclei can also be present for example in polymorpho nuclear leukocyte okay these are the basically type of the neutrophils only which contain the multi lobe nuclei this is the detailed diagram or the beautiful diagram of the cell which contain the nucleus as we can see as we can see, this is the cell which is the cytoplasm is the main constituent of the uh, cell and in which the distinct nucleus is present. And we can see majority of the function or major function which are carried out in the nucleus such as the transcription and uh, the messenger RNA is synthesized which are then transported by uh, the nuclear pore to the outside of the nucleus to the cytoplasm in which the translation process generally take place and also in the nucleus basically in the nucleolus the synthesis and the assembly of the ribosome which are the important for the protein synthesis used to take place in the nucleus only so this is a detailed diagram or we can say the structure of the uh, nucleus in which the various important uh, various important function of the nucleus take place. Now let's come to the structure of the nucleus. Usually there are the four different compartment of the nucleus. The first one is the nuclear envelope. The second is the nucleolus. The third one is the nucleoplasm. 
basically it can be called as a nuclear matrix and it is composed of the nucleolus and the chromatin okay and they are also a semi fluid like structure or in which the various water iron the nucleic acid and the various proteins are assembled or get scattered in the nucleoplasm only the fourth compartment is the chromatin the chromatin or we can say the genetic material are used to present in the form of the chromatin the chromatin and the chromosome are more or less are same if the genetic material is much more condensed then it take the shape of the chromosome and if it is a less condensed then it is known as a chromatin and chromatin are made up of basically the dna and the various proteins so in this diagram we can see the various the compartment of the nucleus the first one is the nuclear envelope or we can say the outermost part of the nucleus outer part the second is the nucleolus that is a distinct sub nuclear compartment in the nucleus is the nucleolus and the nucleoplasm is present inside the nucleus which composed of the various proteins ions water the multiple uh, proteins or the ribonucleotides 